welcome back to The Graham Stephan Show. My name is Graham and welcome to my show. And today we got to talk about Tiffany Ma. Now, for those that aren't familiar, she's been on the channel before. We had her on the Iced Coffee Hour and today she, uh, she kind of crossed the line here. She posted a video, it's titled, What I Spend in a Week in New York City. So obviously, as a personal finance enthusiast myself, we got to watch this video and I will give you my own thoughts about how she allocates her money from behind a computer screen. So with that said, make sure to do your part to subscribe, hit the like button, hit the notification bell while you're at it. Now with that said, let's begin. This was $1,516.50. First of all, I just noticed a 27 minute long video. I really hope she, she better be putting a whole bunch of mid-roll ads in this video and raking it in because uh, 33,000 views on a 30 minute video could pay for uh, whatever expenses she has. into a five-hour flight. Wow, wow, wow. Two waters, $10. Airport waters are horrible. You know what I do is you go up to uh, basically any establishment there and you just ask them for a cup of water and it's free. That's what you do. Because th this $10, that is insane. And to make it even worse, airports don't allow you to take your own liquids through security. So like you're forced to go and do this. This is the best it's so comfy and it packs so thinly. Wow, I've never seen that. That's actually kind of cool. I wondered about that because the neck pillows are like so bulky and they don't really do anything. That is kind of neat. Oh wow, they're taking a red eye flight. Oh, I can't stand those because I can never get a sleep on the plane and then you wake up and it's just like, I just haven't slept at all. And then you sleep the entire next day and then you wake up at like 4 p.m. and you're like, what what year is this? It's bad. Wow, $45 brunch for two. That's New York though. If you want to have a good New York experience, it's going to cost you. Matt and I are headed to a different hotel that is not our hotel because I booked a day use hotel, which means you get to stay in it for like six hours during the daytime. I need a nap so bad. So did I spend $140 so I can take a nap today? Wow. I have never seen that a day use. That's kind of a good idea. I mean, sure, it's a $140 nap, but to be able to use it during the day, I, I actually really like that. I kind of wish they had a concept where if you check in after midnight, you know, maybe you get a discounted rate if they have the room available already. Because I hate having to pay the full rate at midnight when like the checkout is like 10 a.m. the next morning. Like I, I, I want it for the 24 hours. So it's kind of cool best $140 I'm gonna spend. It's 11 a.m. I think we're gonna try to nap for at least two hours and just chill. So I'll see you guys at like two. Okay, bye. Hello guys, good. I wouldn't be able to fall asleep. I would just be constantly looking at my clock and be like, oh man, uh, uh, another 20 minutes passed by. How much is that per minute? Like when I get anxious about how much time I have left to sleep, I can't sleep. All right, but in all seriousness, listen, I know what it's like to work nonstop, get stressed out and become overwhelmed by your thoughts. It's something that I still struggle with and even though working out, meditating and setting deadlines helps, our sponsor BetterHelp is there to help you. BetterHelp is customized online therapy that offers video, phone and even live chat sessions so you don't have to turn on your camera if you don't want to. There's also a broad range of expertise on BetterHelp's 20,000 plus therapist network that gives you access to the assistance that might not be available in your area. All you gotta do is fill out a questionnaire that matches your specific needs and BetterHelp will match you with the therapist you need in less than 48 hours. Plus you could exchange unlimited messages where everything you share is completely confidential. Not to mention, finding the right therapist could be incredibly challenging even though it's one of the most crucial parts of the entire process. That's why with BetterHelp, you could request a new therapist at any time with no additional charge. So many people have started using BetterHelp that they've started recruiting additional therapists in all 50 states. So join the 2 million plus people who have taken charge of their mental health with an experienced BetterHelp therapist today. So get 10% off your first month at betterhelp.com slash Graham Stephan. Also linked down below in the description. And now with that said, let's get back to the video. Hey guys, so Matt and I just made it to our hotel room. So we're staying at the Sonder on Dwayne Street. It's a really cute hotel. It's like a very boutique hotel, very small. For both Matt and I, this was $1,516.50. We're splitting that in half, so that's roughly about $758. Not bad for five nights. Could be worse, but the fact that they're splitting it makes it uh, a little bit more affordable there. Matt and I are about to go grab dinner. 
in like 45 minutes with our team that we have yet to meet. We're gonna meet them for the first time. I am, I'm excited to finally meet them. We've literally been in contact with them for like four months now. We've been working together for like literally the last two and a half months. And it's nice to finally meet them. $300 for dinner. I love how they just snuck that in there very quick, like $300 flashing on the screen. Wow, unless they're paying for everybody. Most likely that's the case. I can't imagine for her and her boyfriend, 300 bucks, that's a lot. That looks delicious. You know you're hungry though, when you look at food on YouTube and you're like, oh man, I, I need to eat. It's, it's 12.30, I really haven't had much to eat today. Besides coffee. Now for sale at bankrollcoffee.com. $11 coffee. There's no way that's just for her though. That's gotta be hers and his maybe. So that's a lot. We're gonna go to a club and I highly doubt they're gonna allow me to bring a camera in there. So I'm gonna leave this camera here and vlog on my phone. Oh, look at that. That looks so good. That's that's a New York pizza. So we just went to a rice pudding spot where there's a bunch of rice pudding flavors. Hmm. It tastes like the texture of mac and cheese, but it's rice pudding. Oh, I love rice pudding. That is one of those guilty childhood desserts. I just, mm, it's good. Same with bread pudding, by the way, like any sort of pudding. It's good. Later tonight, I'm actually gonna go see Madonna at this event called World of Women. It's like the top woman NFT project. It's an incredible project. Oh my God, these NFTs have so much money. You know why? Because there's no overhead. What are you selling? You're selling a JPEG, basically. And so when people are spending like $20,000 because, ooh, there's only five JPEGs in existence, there's no overhead on that. So, you know, unfortunately, I, I love the technology behind the NFT in terms of verifying ownership, but these images, I just don't get it. Some of them, I, I could see some value in maybe a community, but the price is tacked on to some of these things. I just, I, I don't get it. You don't actually have to pay to go inside the Madonna event because I actually own the NFT for this event. And that's like a really cool bonus. If you own NFTs, they'll throw events that you can go to for free, which is this event. There's gonna be free drinks, free alcohol inside. Yeah, but how much was the NFT? That's what I'm curious about. Because you're paying for it one way or another. It's not free, it's how much is that NFT? And then you divide that over the cost of the benefits you get back. If I got an NFT like that, I would eat and drink enough where the NFT becomes free. Hello, we are back at the hotel. I got my Postmates or my DoorDash. I keep calling it Postmates. I got a strawberry rice milk drink with- Oh man, all of these are so good, but I've cut them out because I just put on weight now. I swear, as soon as I hit 30, everything just gets packed right there. And uh, you know, I could, I could go to the gym every day. It doesn't matter. It's just, I, I, I gotta choose between do I want that or do I want it to end up here? And so, uh, you know what? Now I just, I just avoid it, unfortunately. My biggest expense was my hotel. Cause not only did I sleep at a hotel, I also rented a day rate hotel for $140. In total, I spent $898.30 at hotels. Yeah, 900 bucks over five days, uh, $180 a day on average. That's not bad, especially for New York, uh, but it helps that she's splitting it. My next biggest cost was my flight to New York City, and that was $845.20. $845, I mean, listen, Tiffany, you're spending so much money, you may as well be doing that for free with credit card points. Go and get a Chase Sapphire Reserve if you don't have one already, or maybe the American Express Platinum, or even the Amex Gold Card, all of those would give you free flights, would give you discounts on hotels, or you could use the points towards those. So uh, I guarantee you could probably cut down by about $1,000 just by opening up a credit card and using the points. Multiply that by two, Hey, there you go, there's your trip. Okay, my next biggest cost was transportation, and honestly, I'm kind of shocked that this wasn't higher on the list, because getting around New York City in taxis and Ubers gets really expensive, but luckily, Matt and I figured out how to use the subway system on the last day we were there. On the last day? You don't, you don't think it would be better to figure that out on the first day? 
Second day, subways are great to get around. There's a reason why so many people use the New York subways. That's what I did the last time I was there. It's actually kind of fun to sit down there and just not have to worry, and it, it's pretty fast. So in total, we spent $257.25. And the grand total that I spent in New York City was drum roll please i spent two thousand nine hundred seventy five dollars and eighty two cents in new york ah! yeah three grand but you know what's crazier though this would be a lot more expensive had she not been splitting it with her boyfriend this would have been a five thousand dollar trip most likely it's a lot of money for one week New York is uh, is expensive. And that came out to be $495.97. That's a lot of money, but it's not as much money as I spent going to Coachella, which ended up being $5,000 for like four days of fun. A thousand dollars for four days? I just have a bad time there. I Listen, you couldn't pay me $5,000 to go to Coachella. That is everything that I spent in a week in New York City. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. All right, so overall, that's a, that's a lot to sift through for a 27 minute long video. So if you guys appreciate me watching, almost a half hour of this. Just make sure, subscribe, hit the like button. And by the way, guys, we are getting really close to catching up with CNBC Make It to a million subscribers. It would mean a lot to me if we beat them. So if you're watching this right now and you're not already subscribed, just do me a huge favor. Just go ahead and subscribe. It would mean the world to me. Thank you so much for watching and until next time.